Hello everyone, welcome to this uh, special YouTube live session between Raghunath and me. Uh, we hope a uh, lot uh, of people have joined in and some people are still joining in, so we'll start slowly. Uh, what we planned this time was we introduced a lot of features in Optra and many times we just tweet about them and then people are still confused about how to use them. And this time uh, there are some features which are so important that we thought it it will be a good idea to show them live uh, on our YouTube. And so automatically this will be uh, recorded and you can you refer YouTube later also. So welcome Raguna. Hi. Hi Happy. Yeah, I think there is uh, some complaint about no audio. Uh, one minute. Oh. I think it's there, right? Yeah, it's working. Okay, you can start. Okay, Happy. Uh, so, as you said, we have recently introduced a number of features uh, in Opstra, both in solutions and securities. So I want to briefly go over them and uh, show how these features can be helpful in the trading. I mean, I'll not talk about any strategy or anything like that, but how to use these features and what kind of information can you get from these tools? Yeah. So these, the recently introduced uh, features. Uh, these are the main four features, which is options build up, and then historical open interest charts, historical straddle charts, and historical options charts. So each and every one of them have different uh, information that they give out. So we'll go one by one, and so people can understand what it is. Yeah. So I'm switching to my web browser where I'll show this. So if you want to look at options build up, this is the first feature that we will talk about. This is the options build up. So you go to open interest uh, menu and there you click on options build up to see that particular uh, feature. So what does this do? So it's basically nothing but uh, we have, so as you know, uh, throughout the day, there is options uh, build up in the uh, different strike price of options, uh, mainly at, at the money options or at the money strikes for both put options as well as call options. Uh, so some of the users requested that, you know, we want to look at how these things change and what is the open interest change, what is the volume change, how the price has changed and how the PCR has changed. Obviously, yeah. there is open interest chart that we have where you can get all this information in a chart form. But in this open interest buildup, you can actually get this uh, in more in form of data. So you can see what exactly happened in the form of data. Now, in this options buildup, uh, you can select the uh, index or the stock that you're interested in. And you can select the expiry that you're interested in with, where you want to see the information and then finally you can choose for which strike price you want to see the build up so when you when you choose a particular uh, option strike it will show information for both call option as well as put option and how the options build up has happened from the morning till the market has closed or till that current uh, time in the market if you are uh, looking at this uh, during intraday. Now, the information that you can get here is the, actually you get a lot of information, but by default, we show uh, this information where uh, in the middle is the time. So, so we show three minute data. The reason being that the exchange gives uh, any change in open interest data every three minutes. So it doesn't yeah. make sense to show every one minute. So it's better to show every three minutes where you can see change in open interest and uh, price change as well as volume change. So here uh, there is a three minute time interval that you can see. The latest time will be on the top and the earliest time will be at the bottom, okay? 
and then here you can see uh, last trading price at that part at that particular time point and then uh, price change volume open interest change and open interest and what is the build up of that particular uh, strike at that particular time point okay so was there any short covering for this particular option or was there some kind of long unwinding or short build up or any other uh, uh, a build up that you can see here. So, so this is you, uh, you can select the time frame, right? Three minutes, five minutes, fifteen minutes. Yes, yes. So if somebody wants to look at uh, at much uh, higher time points, yeah. because what happens is that when you look at three minutes time point, uh, the data can be spiky. So like you know, at right. three minutes it is long unwinding, then it is short covering. So it can be confusing for some people if they look at this shorter time frame. But if you want to look at slightly longer time frame at five minutes or 15 minutes, maybe there might be some kind of uh, trend developing in this particular strike price. So, for example, for uh, you know, for uh, almost for one hour, there was long winding is happening. So, 15 minutes time four times. So, one hour there was long unwinding, and earlier there was short covering. So, there can be some interesting uh, developments in this uh, particular option strike price uh, throughout the day so depending on what time frame you want to look at if you are you know like day trader or somebody who trades on very short time frames then you can use 3 minutes or if you want positional trader kind of uh, uh, who is a positional trader they can use 15 minutes or 5 minutes yeah. and here uh, you can also use intra as well as positional so what is the difference in intra, we are only looking at the changes within that particular day. Okay. Whatever open interest change, volume change, or whatever is happening is only with respect to every three minutes. But in the case of positional, we are looking the change, whatever changes you are looking with respect to previous day, previous trading day. Okay. So you can get all this information here if you want to like understand more what is actually is happening here you can just click on info all that information is here okay now we we also have a filter here uh, so if you look at select all we have a filter where you can add you can look at some more data as well as for example you can look at positional uh, change in price like with respect okay. to previous day or what is the OI change with respect to previous day? So all those things can be added in this table and you can save. For example, if I want to look at all of these things, then I can select all of them and I can simply save. You can look at all of this information in one go. Okay. So one is, uh, so here you can see build up, which is the intraday one. And this is a positional build up, which is, which is respect to yesterday. So as you can clearly okay. see from yesterday, there is a short buildup on the call side of uh, this this particular strike price. Right. So for example, yesterday the close was let's say uh, around nineteen thousand seven hundred, right? Yeah. So if I want, if I went and look at nineteen thousand seven hundred, so what has happened? Okay. So again, there was a short buildup with respect to yesterday. So you can clearly see what has happened with respect to yesterday and what has happened with respect to today in intraday. Yeah. So that is the kind of information you can get with this uh, uh, options buildup. And as you can see here, in, in case of put options, this 19,700 call, or sorry, put was short covered. A lot of short covered today, yeah. So those things at a micro level, you can look at this data if somebody is interested to look at this kind of data. So for, you know, I mean, different traders look at different uh, kind of data. So we have different tools for different set of uh, traders. So if somebody is interested to look at this kind of data, you can always have a, a look at this kind of data. So this, is only for a, this is only for a specific strike price, right? Yeah, this is only for specific strike price. Because if somebody, uh, let's say, add the money option, most people do, for example, short straddle. 
and right. if they want to you know look at that at the money strike price what is happening on both sides like you know one is increasing or one is decreasing or both are sideways what is happening if you want to look at that kind of data you can just look at that particular strike price so there it but if might someone, be if someone wants to look at a couple of more strike prices then he can go to the other page yes uh so couple of yeah so we have straddle charts for that yeah so there we can look at uh, those uh, those charts as well so maybe if you don't have any questions we can i can move to the next yeah you feature. can uh, move yeah move ahead yeah so the next one is the historical open interest charts now so here you know we have, we have open interest chart you know from almost four five six years maybe this has been you know the typical open interest chart where we have uh, open interest plotted as bar charts and open interest change is also plotted as bar okay. charts but at the bottom here you can see okay and we also show uh, pcr if somebody is looking interested at pcr and if somebody hovers you can look at you know all kind of data open interest data pcr op open interest change what is the price delta theta vega whatever information that is needed for the trader okay yeah uh, now there was uh, there was i mean we realized that you know and there was also a request from users that to add this feature what if I, if i want to uh, look at this data what has happened over the day over the day so today what has happened uh, throughout the day i mean there was a big market fall right what if, if yeah. you want to look at this data from the morning till the market close how it has changed how the open interest has changed not just one strike price but all the strike prices so right. you know how the open interest is being built up by the market participants okay so yeah. we have something we have this slider which you can go back and forth to look at historical data let's say i want to look so this is let's say this is the current data right this is today's yeah. data at market close so what was the data yesterday at market close okay. so clearly you see that there was a equal build up maybe in call side you can see slightly little bit more milled up uh, yesterday at close compared to uh, compared to the build up of call up uh, put options so there was a build up so there are more uh, shots perhaps in the case of call options and which you know in a kind of in, in a way got reflected uh, in today's opening the market has uh, opened a uh, gap down yeah and and for example if you want to look what has happened today intraday right so i can go like let's say 15 minute data i want to see how this build up has happened open interest change so if you see here in the last 15 minutes what happened people have covered their put options and build up their call options which means market participants were shorting call options and covering their put options at these strike prices now if you go back slowly let's say at 3 o'clock same thing call options were keep on building and if you go slightly earlier maybe around uh, so this is second august right so maybe around 2 o'clock again same thing happened so from the beginning of today let's go to 12 o'clock again same thing so yeah. there was a pressure on the market from the beginning right so let's see what happened in the morning early in the morning around 9:30 let's say so 9:30 you see there is not much build up but slowly if you go like this forward every 15 minutes you can see slowly the call build up was happening so you can see this right. build up of these bars here they kept on going up and the red ones kept on going down see It, it kept on moving to the left side of the chart. Yeah, and the green column also moved lower. Uh, I mean, to the lower strikes. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So they were, you know, building pressure yeah. on the call option side. And this is exactly what happens. If it, it happens the other way around, if the market keeps on going up, 
you will see build up of these red bars and the right. covering of the green bars so is exactly opposite and in the case of sideways you will see equal and opposite you know kind of fight between uh, both the market participants so this is the kind of information that you can get you know you can go up to maybe 31st 27th of july almost one week you can go back and look at this 15 minute data as to what has happened so yeah this is a useful information for those who want to look at this and obviously we will also we also have this uh, open interest build up which you know for those people who don't know it simply says that what is the what a, what kind of build up has happened with these options right so for example in the call options there is a short build up which we have seen right in the bar chart people okay. were uh, people were covering their shorts and there was a build up of uh, uh, call options right so there was a short yeah. build up and similarly the long options okay here if you see these things there was a long build up as well as short covering so at, no. at higher strike prices put options were being covered which you can see like these these uh, these ones right yeah these red bars going down those are short covering and the once they were building up long uh, put options here you can see in the red uh, sorry in the green dark green so there were long build up and short covering of put options and long unwinding and short build up of call options so it's, it's right. like a x ray of you know what is happening in the market yeah so you can use that kind of information to make a decision exactly what is happening in the market in terms of open interest and that reflects in the price action as well so this is the second uh, feature that we have recently introduced and the third feature is the historical straddle charts and now and this this no. was also a very old requirement a lot of people had asked for it so this was introduced yes. recently and people can use it for virtual uh, i mean a visual back test kind of thing yes and for those people who don't know that you know we do have straddle charts and this is a continuous dynamic straddle charts actually. yeah in fact we we were the first to introduce straddle charts yes and and also dynamic straddle charts which actually changes along with us the what has what is happening in the underlying so let's say from the morning from 19700 to it moved to 19600 and even 500 right so accordingly right. we these strike prices also changes at the money and in the money and out of the money so the so straddle price see, the straddle chart which is shown will uh, the, the strike price will change automatically with the market yes the chart also changes automatically so we have, this is the at the money and this is the in the money or out of the money depending on how you see and uh, 19700 out of the money so basically and at the money can... one higher and one lower as simple as that yes yes yeah and here you can see here we have a uh, uh, straddle price which is in blue color for 19600 and we also have a straddle vwap this is something a lot of traders use that you know they will short a straddle if Only it is below, below the straddle vwap and they exit that trade when it goes above the straddle vwap so for those kind of people we also have this uh, straddle vwap in the straddle chart and on the right side you can see the open interest and pcr of the same strike price how the pcr has changed throughout the day so if you look at the current day it will only show what has happened on that particular day yeah okay so here if you look at the straddle vwap it gave a breakout the straddle price and that's it it stayed there for a long time and the straddle price you know broke out so it was a not a good time to short a straddle short for this particular strike price yeah yeah and you know if you want to look at you know as a big chart also you can look simply make it full screen and it keeps on updating every 3 minutes or 1 minute i believe so those things you can do now obviously multi straddles if somebody wants to look at multiple straddles at one go 
for example if i wanted to look at 19600 700 and uh, 500 in one go i can do with multiple straddles so here the nifty is in dark blue color and the other straddles you can see one straddle gave breakout okay yeah. and the other straddles were in sideways motion and later even six uh, 600 uh, strike price uh, straddle also gave a breakout so you can see that if the market is trending or not if usually the market is sideways all the straddles trend down You're right you will not see any breakouts so yes. that also contains information like if you uh, put all these three straddles together you can actually see what is happening in the market and decide whether is the market is sideways or is it going to give some kind of breakout on the downside or the upside depending on how the breakout opens right so that is multi straddles and recently we have added historical straddles so let's say somebody wants to look want to back test what has happened you know maybe last week let's say on 27th july right i want to see uh, what has happened on 27th july so this was the strike price on 27th july so i can simply put uh, maybe 19600 uh, chart or even 700 chart uh, so yeah so i can simply add that and see what has happened to the straddle chart on that particular so this historical straddle chart is for since when last four years right yeah yeah it's uh, all the way to 2019 from yeah, the so beginning of 2019 why i asked is a lot of people will who have uh, experience uh, of trading during covid times they can really, yes. uh, even if they might not have been trading that time, they can really see how the straddles moved during the COVID, the yes. crash days. Yes, yes, exactly. And here also we have added uh, straddle VWAP for those who want to see how the behavior was for this uh, this uh, straddle chart. And uh, those can be uh, seen in historical straddles here. And you can so hide, also hide also Nifty also if you want, right? Not in this. Sorry? In Sorry. this, you can't hide Nifty uh, like in the other charts. Uh, no. So we are also revamping this particular chart okay. where uh, we are going to add uh, some more features like if somebody wanted to check how, uh, let's say, uh, what was the moving average, let's say. Okay. They wanted to add a 10-day moving average or 20-day moving average, exponential or simple moving average or Bollinger Bands. That, can, that will be added in the coming okay. update so in addition to vweb they can also use that kind of information uh, uh, that is for the historical uh, straddle charts so as ap has said you can go up to 2019 almost uh, uh, 19 is can, can you can you go to february february, february. okay let, we'll see that later <laughs> yeah yeah okay all right so the next feature is the historical options charts now this uh, but this is, this this is, is the most exciting feature for me because there are so many things uh, everyone can do with it uh, so you go ahead with the explanation then we'll talk more about it yes yes so for going to the uh, this uh, historical uh, charts option charts you just go to options menu and click on historical charts okay And here, uh, as you can see here, you select the ticket that you're interested in, select the expiry that you're interested in. Again, the data goes back to 2019. Now, let's say, instead of, let's say we are looking at straddle, right? Instead of straddle, maybe we can look at uh, strangle, maybe something like that. So, so maybe you, say, uh, what you can do is you can go to February 2020, uh, maybe select uh, uh, 11,500 and 12,000 started. February 2020. 2020, okay. Okay, uh, monthly is fine? Yeah, monthly. Okay, monthly. So once you get that, now when you selected is 27 February, it shows what was the experience the futures price at that point of time on 27th february expiry to get the yeah. you know information as to which is strikes to select right which is an historical data 
so let's say i can we do schedule again maybe yeah so 11600 let's say put option right. i will do a short schedule so you have to select that uh, uh, strike price uh, click on sell and then add to strategy yes same thing with the call yes. and then save the strategy yes yeah. 11600 call option and we sell and here for example if somebody wants to do ratio charts call ratio spreads or some other uh, spreads they can also yeah, alter their that is why that is what excites me more so about it you can do everything call ratio yeah. call credit spread debit spread everything all the way up to january 2019 yes you can do that and you can see how how the strategies has behaved with the futures yeah. so once you select these strategies then you can you know you can say you can you want to change the name of this short strategy covid strategy <laughs> yeah covid short strategy for example you just enter it and then save strategy okay so once you have added that now you can see what has happened in that expiry for that particular strike price so here ap as you can see here uh there was a bull bull market uh, and then and information started around february 20 i believe or yeah. slightly earlier that yeah i think know, uh, maybe what you need to do is uh, select march 2020 not february okay 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 yeah. so 2020 march Yes, 26 March. So, but still at 11,600. Look at the Nifty price from here on closing of February expiry on the current chart. Okay. Ah, uh, here it was around 11,600. Same. Yes. So sell 11,600 put. Yeah, someone is asking a question. Can I see this video later? Yes, uh, after some after we end this session, it will automatically get uploaded to YouTube, and you can watch it later also. Yeah. Yeah. So, so once we add this strategy and save it, here you will see the Nifty price on on in the in the area chart. We call it as area chart, just to distinguish yeah. it from other other kind of uh, information. And then in the green, in the cyan color, dark cyan color. You see the strategy price. So the strategy price is a straddle strategy, basically, and then you see the combined VWAP, the VWAP of the short straddle in this case. Okay. Now okay. here, the strategy price at the beginning of expiry on February twenty fifth, two forty five. Okay. Or if you go to like after February twenty seven. Around February 27, at open, it was 420, the combined price. Okay, and then from here it went up to 7,900. I mean, now everyone knows that Nifty went all the way to 7,511 lows. That, that's why I wanted to see this. No, no, the strategy price 7,900, and the Nifty price is 7,600. It right 7,700. Yeah. So Stradil went from 4,420 to 7,900. So it is like uh, 10, 20 times almost. 20 times. So if no, no, you started Stradil, you have uh, uh, Raghunath, you have selected both puts by mistake. It can't be 7,900. It has to be only 4,500 oh, or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, <laughs> you have to delete that. In fact, this is a standard mistake which a lot of people make. So make sure you have selected the correct strikes; otherwise, you will get a wrong chart. Yeah. 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 So, so you know, pretty much looks like that. But yes, the price is a little bit different. half of that. Yeah. So this is how it looks, and. apart from you know you can also zoom like you know like uh, five days last five days what happened or last okay. 10 days what happened if you are looking at more more recent 
uh, straddles or charts, strategy charts. Those things. You and here, uh, you, here you can also select uh, the foot and call uh, premium, which is there at the bottom of the chart. Right now it is yes. hidden. But in case you want to see even that, yes, this one. Sorry, this is price and uh, this is call price. Yeah. See, call is at the bottom. If you, if you are not seeing it, let me do like this. Yeah, it is negligible. Yeah, naturally. Yeah. So at, it started at 365 call, and it went to like you know nothing basically. But the put, up, put price, put price, which is in red color, dark red or brown color, it went up all the way. And if you do, if you also want to look at the options, the open interest of them. You can see how it has changed. This is a call open interest in light color and dark blue color. You have the put open interest. So you have like a lot of information in one chart. Yeah, in fact, if you uh, since 11,600 was the ATM, uh, I mean, a lot of people do a visual backtest on the chart. So you, let's say you select only the 11,600 put. Of course, COVID time was a very uh, classic case, but just to show. I want to see how 11,600 put alone has moved uh, from yes. the uh, beginning of March expiry to. Yeah, yeah, it, it basically mirrors the straddle chart because I mean, that's what we expect. Naturally, yeah, right. Yeah, when there is a huge move, it simply moves along with the. Yeah, that is because the call becomes negligible. The straddle consists mostly of the put uh, premium only. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, in addition to this, you can also like if you want to look at all of them here, you can simply say show all and it will show all open interest, uh, open interest and uh, the, the price information of individual options, call option and put options as well. And you can also reset and go back to the default view. And in addition to this, if you want to add an indicator to uh, to the straddle chart, for this particular straddle price combined straddle chart, you can also add a simple moving average, or you can add a exponential moving average, or you can add Bollinger uh, bands. Okay, so I mean you yeah. can add different kind of uh, indicators and see, you know, what kind of uh, analysis you can do or what kind of information you want to learn from this kind of uh, strategy charts. Historical strategy charts, and we yeah, can I mean, more indicators. Why, why this excites if, uh, me uh, very much is uh, uh, if you want to make a back test, visual back test of every strategy which you uh, trade very regularly on Nifty yeah. or Bank Nifty or any stock. Let's say a debit spread or a credit spread. Go back to the month, the beginning of the month. See where the underlying was. Plot the spread and uh, just yeah. see how it has moved. Yeah. As simple as that. Yes, exactly. Yeah, so huge amount of information is there, like for uh, visual backtesting. And you know, we'll add, keep on adding more indicators. If you are interested in uh, using more indicators, you can just suggest what kind of indicators that we can add, uh, which which will be plotted based on the strategy price, not on the individual uh, option price, but on the strategy price. Yeah. So, in fact, someone uh, yesterday in the office when we were talking about historical straddles, uh, historical uh, options charts, someone made a mistake uh, saying instead of historical, he said historic. But uh, yes, I said that word is wrong. But this is a historic moment where you can see these charts for the last almost four and a half years. Yeah. Yes, yes. And th this yeah, is true even for stocks, go... right? Even for stocks. Yeah, even for stocks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can go for stocks, everything that is there. You select the expiry and whatever strike prices, and that's it. You can do ratio charts, uh, I mean ratio spreads, and uh, all those things you can do here. And here are the, the interesting part is you can also choose the time frame. It could be five minutes, oh, yeah. thirty minutes, sixty minutes daily. So and you can zoom in in a chart to see what has happened. The last day, for example, if you want to look at, let's say, the recent uh, 27 July expiry, what has happened? If you want to look at the last day, that also you can look at, you know, what has happened to 19,600 straddle. You know, it went down. So that kind of information is there. 
so yeah it's a very exciting uh, tool uh, and this is distilled from suggestions from a lot of users somebody wanted you know option price somebody wanted vwap somebody wanted strategy just straddles nothing else somebody wanted uh, open interest so we distill all of these things and you know made it into one tool which you can use uh, for your analysis and see uh, how these strategies have behaved under different market conditions and how you can adapt to these things uh, as part of your trading yeah we already have this in the options simulator but why this uh, excites me more is the, i believe more in charts because they give yes. me a better picture than the static numbers so yes. whatever strategy you choose maybe six months back eight months back one year back you can just plot it as a chart and see how it has performed during that full expiry yes exactly because see the options and people who use option simulator are people who are doing kind of adjustments and you know that kind of stuff yes. where you have much more control in adjusting the options but here is it's for somebody who are doing solely trading based on charts like people doing straddle charts triangle charts or some other charts if you know people who are looking at the breakouts or you know the slope of the uh, straddle charts and then yeah. sh shorting those things you know stuff like that so for different as i said you know we have different tools for different kind of uh, traders so choose what suits you and do and uh, in that kind of one way. more thing i think you need to mention that if you go for single options chart uh, either a call or a put you can also look at the chart on candlesticks yes yes uh, good reminder yeah <laughs> uh, so let's look at the latest expiry 27 and uh, 19600 let's again and let's say i do sell save strategy and the good part is uh, wow, some I forgot to tell is that you can add all the strategies and you can save them you simply save them and you come back again so oh, let's yeah. say if i go to my builder and if i come back again here to my historical charts all those are saved so now oh, you don't have to redo everything again and again yeah once you have added you can always come back and simply click it and you can resume your analysis wherever you have left so here let's say 19600 this is only single uh, strike price right yeah. so again we give we we so uh, one clarification that i want to do that vwap is done on on a single strike price or uh, 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 option strategies which are in same direction let's say short triangle or short straddle long triangle or uh, long straddle uh, only in those kind of strategies vwap makes sense it doesn't make sense in case of uh, uh let's say spread options or spread option strategies or uh, uh, ratio spread strategies there the vwap doesn't make sense so that for that reason we have restricted vwap into those kind of strategies where it makes sense yeah can you convert into candlestick for yeah, yeah yeah so here you can line chart or also you can have a a uh, uh, candlestick chart so if i zoom in you can see simply how uh, this thing has developed so for example vwap if you look in uh, with respect to a candlestick chart is slightly different than that of a line chart i do the right. same in line chart so different information for different uh, kind of people if you are interested in uh, candle stick charts and we can also show the volume uh, to those people who are interested in this uh, single uh, strike prices how the volume has changed because it is close to expiry a lot of you know volume came into huge picture volume, at sir. close to expiry a yeah, huge volume spike and this is usually happens uh, at close to expiry so a lot of information to consume uh, as part of this uh, historical charts and if you look at many of the you know uh, the multi straddle charts and historical straddle charts all those things you can always save those in your watch list and you can always go back to them and uh, do your analysis so 
yeah that's that's all uh, is there so far with the new the newly introduced uh, uh, feature yeah uh, uh, what i would like to announce here is uh, though this historical charts is going to be a part of the pro feature uh, we'll talk yes. about pro feature and free feature but uh, as a special gesture since we are announcing it today this will be kept free of cost uh, i mean this will not be a part of the pro feature for the, at least the next 10 days maybe around 15th august or so it will become pro but even in pro if you can go back to that solutions and securities uh, ravnath yeah yeah so uh, i i'm not sure how many people are aware we also have opstra in definite solutions and opstra in definite securities where in definite securities you have to just open a demat account and uh, in fact they are in terms of features they are exactly the same but uh, in in opstra securities the charges are much lesser almost 35 40% lesser than opstra solutions number one number two you also get a benefit in terms of th that much uh, amount is credited credited to your wallet as wallet points and it is completely set up against your uh, brokerage for that so effectively opstra can become free if you are an active trader and it has always been like that right from day one of definite securities it is effectively free only so there is no charge for opstra securities if you are a good i mean uh, even if lot something like a couple of lots every day or something like that uh, you can substantially reduce your cost in fact even make it free of cost uh, because it is set up against your brokerage yes so i just wanted to cover some things here uh, yeah. so in securities like you know because of the way uh, the the way we get access to data and uh, real time data and all that information you can directly trade if you in in obstra securities version if you open a dmat account uh, from the uh, obstra just, you can directly uh, trade one question raghunath someone has said chart type is not reflecting in my obstra uh, the chart type uh, i mean line or candlestick is only for a single option not for a straddle or a strangle chart yeah single option so you can directly trade from Opstra Securities and positions portfolio. Let's say you had a lot of positions, uh, you traded a lot of positions. <coughs> All the positions are segregated, and your whole portfolio is updated in real time. Okay, in positions portfolio, and you get real time data updates. Like, you know, in the strategy builder, if you uh, if you add a strategy and if you want to observe how how the uh, payoff chart is getting updated every few seconds so every uh, uh, 30 seconds the strategy the strategy payoff chart will update it every 30 seconds so yeah. you can just add it and just you can watch and your payoff charts keep keeps on getting updated with real time data real time data in the sense that the latest available data latest available tick data will be part of that uh, payoff chart that is yeah, and uh, like uh, and like you said uh, in Opstra solutions we don't have currencies and commodities but we do have them in Opstra yes. for securities yes so you can also trade uh, currencies and you also you can look at uh, open interest and all those things in currencies and the same for commodities as well uh, for uh, we have only crude oil and natural gas because those are the only liquid commodities as of now and if you see liquidity improving in other commodities, then we will also add uh, those uh, tickers as well in future. Yeah. And as and when uh, we finish formalities with the BSC options, we will also going to introduce uh, those as well. Yeah, that will also come very soon. Yeah. Yes. And another thing which I want to uh, talk about is that there are some upcoming new features which you can expect by next week. Uh, which in fact, is that some more exciting features are coming, which uh, normally yes. we don't ad announce in advance. But since we are live now, so we are taking the liberty of announcing some upcoming new features. Yes. So these are, these will be uh, introduced by next week. Uh, is that we have one minute option simulation for Nifty, Bank Nifty, and Fin Nifty. So earlier we had a minimum was five minutes, but now we are going to add one minute. If somebody, uh, some people wanted to have that. Uh, option as well so we have added uh, that option as well uh, that is one and we have added we are going to add uh, usdinr crude oil and natural gas uh, options in the option simulator so you can also look at 
like you know adjustments of the options or uh, like if you do a short straddle or short strangle in in these uh, commodities and currencies how they behave uh, in terms of payoff chart those things you can do in the options simulator but this is available only in options obstra securities because we have access to this data only on securities so that is uh, one thing and then we will have new and improved straddle charts uh, like like i talked about in historical straddle charts we'll we'll add those uh, indicators as well and in addition we are going to revamp the main straddle charts that at the money in the money out of the money straddle charts uh, we are going to make a, uh, a bigger chart and we have all the information in one chart just like we showed in in the case of uh, uh, strategy charts yeah and then there will be many other uh, small features and improvements which we will keep on doing you know which you might have observed in last uh, couple of couple of uh, months we have introduced several features uh, like that so you, you you can expect that more and more features will keep on coming and uh, there will never be a rest in terms of introduction of new features when it comes to obstra yeah i'm so just taking a couple of questions I'm just taking yeah. a couple of questions. Uh, someone is asking about backtesting of custom strategies. Uh, it can be done on uh, option simulator. Yes, yes. See, testing uh, custom backtesting is uh, not easy because we don't know what will be the uh, what kind of conditions that you have in mind. But we can restrict, like you know, we can give uh, certain uh, restricted set of parameters. and we can say that okay you can backtest within this set of parameters so custom backtesting is uh, not that easy to implement but this is something we are thinking on uh, which we are working on uh, but it might come in future that that, that 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 much i can say that that in future you might see some kind of custom backtesting feature where you can think on something that i want to test this this way in in a particular way and that can be achieved using custom backtesting but you know there is a lot of difficulties in implementing in that so that's why we are taking uh, more time on that yeah. uh, raghunath can you show the uh, defined security website someone is asking for the helpline number so we'll just uh, display the helpline number and the email address also yeah. and someone has asked can you invest in options uh, uh, through opstra yes like we said uh, we, you can trade directly from opstra in options Uh, obstra securities like uh, they has shown obstra.definitesecurities.com and uh, if you go to the home page of definit securities you will have the helpline number you also have the email address and also you can send email to obstra@definit.com info@definit.com or care@definit.com there are three email address and there is a hunting number which is shown here customer support 6192320 pune Uh, about FII DI action, yes, we already have FII DI action in Ofra since a very long time. So if you can show that also. Yeah, I mean we have from the beginning actually. Uh, someone is asking for live. How how can we know the no, live no. FII action? I there will be no one in the world who will know the live day FII yes. action. It is always till yesterday. So so FII data DI data it comes only after markets are closed. Yeah. and that is given by nsc only after everything has been closed so live data is uh, not possible i mean because that data is not available in live so yeah i mean, I mean fi is not just one ent single entity and how can that single entity show its trades it has to yes. come only as a history i mean at the end of the day yeah Yeah, someone is asking about brokerage. Uh, it is eighteen rupees per order, and it is all all that information is given given on the website. Uh, brokerage plan is there. Uh, uh, everything you need to know is there. So, and like I said, you can trade options directly from Opstra. You can make your own uh, strategy, and uh, uh, you can call the helpline number. You can also have call and trade. Uh, everything. I mean, yeah, every information is already there on the website, and. Uh... you can open dmat account uh, i mean it's a uh, very easy and quick in fact yesterday yesterday we i think had one of the fastest dmat account it was open in 4 minutes wow yeah. 
suppose it depends yeah. on the nsc and server it depends on cdsl it depends on some couple of approvals but again yesterday was a good day so uh, it was very fast so the user said that he could open it in 4 minutes wow okay yeah and also those people who don't know you know all the features that are there in opstra i mean you can go and check i mean there are so many even uh, i forget sometimes how many features are there so not just one there are at least upwards of 30 different features that are there uh, here in opstra uh, someone is asking can we backtest intraday strategy for historical data uh, yes you can mainly auto atm of that historical particular day uh auto atm yeah auto atm is not possible right it has to you have to change no, the chart no 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 auto atm because uh i mean auto atm means you are changing the strike price so how will you back test yeah. when you change yeah that's not uh, automatic is not possible and uh, another thing is once you have a demat account you also get uh, trade point uh, basic free of cost zone basic free of cost and you can watch the point and figure and rinko charts of all these strategies or naked options on that platform like he has shown over here so opstra is only for strategies and analytics but for the actual charts you have a uh, trade point desktop as well as uh, uh, zone which is the web based platform so you can access all those charts there as as long as you have a demat account all the basic version is free over here Okay, I think yeah. we are almost closer to close to one hour now. So uh, yeah. I think that's a good enough introduction to what all has already been introduced. And like we said, this new feature is free for the next ten uh, days or so. And uh, maybe after fifteen hours, it will go back to pro. So use it uh, whatever you want, and uh, you can backtest all your uh, visual back visually backtest all your past trades, trades which were successful, trades which were failures, where you could have taken a trade. depending on uh, how nifty was maybe your super trend strategy or moving average strategy or whatever and you can do that for the last four and a half years including nifty bank nifty and uh, most of the liquid stocks i think there are about 80 stocks right yeah almost uh, 70 to 80 i believe somewhere in the range yeah again options rango chart is not available in options for opstra for definite solutions it is available on trade point or zone for uh, uh, definite securities where i said you like i said you have free access to uh, definite uh, other brokerage platforms. yeah and all this information is there on the website so if you want more information like i said you can access the website you can always call for more help you can always send an email uh, all the information which is required is there okay Okay, so we come to an end of this. Uh, I thought it would be only a half an hour session, but uh, of course questions yeah. are still coming in. Uh, it is uh, quite difficult to handle all those questions. Uh, for any more questions, like I said, you can contact our support uh, via email or uh, telephone. And thank you for joining, and thank you, Raghunath. Yeah, thank you, thank you, Vip.